going to be talking about density in this one. What is density and how do we use it in calculations? So density is defined as mass divided by volume. The mass of the object divided by the volume of the object. Mass is how much matter an object contains. Volume is how much space it occupies. It's a derived unit. That means we calculate it. Common units for density are grams per cubic centimeter, grams per cubic milliliter, grams per liter, grams per cubic decimeter. Look at the value. What happens to density in the following situations? When mass, mass is on the top of the fraction for calculating density. So when the numerator increases, the value of the fraction increases. So when mass increases, density increases. Volume is on the bottom of the fraction for calculating density, which is the denominator. When the denominator increases, the value of the fraction decreases. So when volume increases, density decreases. When mass decreases, when the number in the numerator gets smaller, the value of the fraction gets smaller. So when mass decreases, density decreases. When volume decreases, when the number in the bottom of the fraction or the denominator gets smaller, the value of the fraction increases. So when volume decreases, density decreases. Okay. Another thing about density. Any object that is less dense than another dense substance will float in the in the denser substance. For example, water has a density of one gram. Vegetable has a density of 0 0.67 grams per milliliter. Therefore, vegetable oil will float in water because its density is less than the density of water. We see that whenever you look at any, you're cooking anything, spaghetti, chili. Anything like that where you have meat, even when you're not having meat and you're making stew, the grease floats to the top. That's the oil. Gold has a density of 19.3 grams per milliliter. Will it float in water? No. Its density is, le is less than water, so it won't float. Okay. Uh, let's do it. Let's look at some calculations here. We've got the density formula. An easy way to do density problems is set up this little triangle with mass, density, and volume set up like this. All you have to do is cover what you're trying to find, and the rest of what's left is the equation. For example, if I wanted to find mass, since they're beside each other, we multiply density times volume. If I wanted to find volume, Mass over density, so mass divided by density. And that's all you have to do. That's a quick way of doing it. You can apply this to density. You can apply it to any other math, a science equation that follows this same format. Okay. Let's look at this problem here. Objects with a dens density greater than water will sink, and those with a density less than water will float. Given the following data about a piece of wood, determine whether it will float or sink in water. A piece of iron wood has a mass of 345 grams and the following dimensions, 18 centimeters by 3 centimeters by 5 centimeters. Will it float in water? Okay, so to determine whether it will float in water, we need to find the density. To find the density, we need the mass and the volume of the piece of iron wood. Okay. We've got the mass. We don't have the volumes, but they gave us the dimensions. A piece of iron wood is going to be a, a rectangular prism. Okay. So that's length times width times height. So that'll give us the volume. So we go. Oops, sorry about that. 18 centimeters times five centimeters, times three centimeters. Notice I'm putting the units in my calculations. That's important. We have to keep track of our units. Almost everything in science has a unit. So 18 times five is 90. 90 times three is 207. Okay. Centimeters times centimeters times centimeters gives me centimeters cubed. 
Okay, cube units are a measure, usually a measure of volume. Okay, especially if they're length, units of length. Okay, so now we have our volume. We can calculate our density. Density is mass divided by volume. So 345 grams divided by 270 cubic centimeters. Okay, so density is usually in grams per unit of volume, mass per unit of volume. So grams is a unit of mass, cubic centimeters is a unit of volume. Okay, so we just use our calculator and calculate that. 345 divided by 270 gives us 1.278 grams per cubic centimeter. So it's asking, the problem was asking, will it float in water? Answer here is will not float in water. And that's all there is to calculating density.